Hello, it's Nancy today, tonight actually. Now I have an idea. Someone told me, I think it was April Lee, that if you put blue food coloring on something that you're concerned about, whether it's um, lye, active lye or not, if you put blue food coloring on and the lye is active, it will turn pink. So there are some questionable bars here. Now this See, when I poured it, see these two spots there? Now the bottom, when I, had, I cut the whole bottom off of this entire row because it was very spotted with white. Now I'm curious if this is, if this is dangerous, right? With the lie in there? So I'm just going to check it out. Okay, I'm going to leave this to sit for a little while and check it in a little while. Okay, and then I'm also going to check this other stuff over here. This is what I cooked on the campfire the other night. Now, it looks quite beautiful as far as I'm concerned, but... See, there's a bit of moisture on it. So let's see if that's lye. I'm going to rub it around a bit. Well, it's staying blue. Now that's that's surprising because I thought that was lie. Squish it. See if it comes out of it at all. It's staying quite blue. And this is also staying blue. Well, maybe, maybe you don't have the right blue food coloring, darling. No, it worked on the other. It did. Yeah, when I put it into the pot. Okay. See that little dot of liquid right there? It should happen instantaneously. Yeah. So... But... Well, wait a minute. Should I do the zap test? I don't really dare. No, actually, you know what? What? I think the pink is the acidic one, and the blue is the alkaline one. No. She put it on... She It worked on my other stuff. Did it? Yeah. I put it into... Well, let me go get the other one that is definitely lie-heavy. Yeah. See, it looks like it's not turning pink at all. And if you take, if you take um, red cabbage, or, yeah, red cabbage, I think. Okay. Then uh, the alkaline color would be blue, and the acidic color would be reddish. Yeah. So I should go get a piece of a red cabbage. If you have some, yeah. I do. No. I'll get it. Okay. And then what do I do with it? Well, just the juice of it. Or maybe you can take it, you can rub the piece on it, I don't know. Okay, so here it is. Let me come down a bit. Okay, so a piece of red cabbage. Yeah. Slice off a new piece. Kind of dried up on the outside edge. Mm. But be good if you got some kind of some sort of juice out of it there. Okay, well let me that should be juicy, right? Okay, we'll see. Let's see this one. Yeah. Okay, and now I put it on something that I think is lie heavy. Yeah. Okay now let's see. I don't see any moisture in that one. There, see those things? Yeah. Those drops? See it turn blue. Okay, all right, so yeah. So what does that mean? Blue is uh, as, as uh, alkaline. 
alkaline. So, yeah. so that actually, means it's actually, fly? Actually, yeah, actually what you could do, what you could do first yeah. is dip them in vinegar first and then it'll turn pink and you can see the, see the contrast better. But it looks like it's m more, much darker blue than the other one, yeah. It's definitely blue. Yeah. So that's lye then? Yeah. Now of course every soap is, so is sort of alkaline, so... Um, so I think oh, it's it, stinging my finger, so... Yeah, okay, well that's, uh, that's certainly Definitely. his eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So turn it blue. I guess I need some more... But this it's didn't work on here. Maybe I had too much food coloring. Maybe if I had just a hint of it. See how it's... See the wetness there? Yeah, no, I, I, hmm, I don't know. Should turn it pink right away. It did it when I put it in the pot. Mm. Okay, so these need to be rebatched then. Yeah, to be safe, sure. Okay, and what about this one? You see, now this has some some dots in there. Mm-hmm. Let me get another piece of cabbage. Okay. So here we are. Mm-hmm. Turn blue. Mm-hmm. Does that mean it's lie heavy? I don't know. Like you should try it on ordinary soap. It might turn ordinary soap like store bought soap. It might turn that blue too. All right. Well, let's try it on a piece of cured soap that I know is good. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we'll take a piece of this. I have this stuff on my hands now. Mm -hmm. Take a piece of this well and truly perfect lavender. Okay, so we'll put it on that. We'll turn that brown. That yeah, blue. it's still blue, yeah. So it's just that it's any soap. Any soap is a little bit alkaline. And so you need an indicator that only turns color when it's really very alkaline, right? Okay. I'm not sure what that would be. Well, that's why, I, that's why she said the blue food coloring. It would turn pink mm -hmm. if it's active and... See now those dots there, to me, those are lie. You see that? Mm hmm So if that's lie. Okay, that white dot should be lie, right? So let's put a little bit of this blue on there. didn't turn it pink. No. But it turned pink in my um, my batch. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Now I'll do the zap test. The zap test is when you touch your tongue to it. How poisonous is it to touch my tongue to this? Um, I wouldn't recommend it. Well, people do it. If it's really very, if, if you turn, if you touch your tongue with lye, it'll burn you. It doesn't what? zap me. Yeah. Did I just hear what fall I heard? You hear what you thought you heard? Is it putting lye on your tongue? That's called the zap test. That's what people do. If they're unsure, well, you want to know something? What? Those people are dumb. Okay. Use your finger. Put a cut on it. How do you use? Will you use your finger? Well, if you touch it, if there's no lie content, you, you don't. Know, you don't. Know, you touch your tongue lie. and it's fine. But if there's lie in it, you go and you get this little zap. You know. You know. You know something. End of your tongue. What? Your sweet taste buds. You know what happens? What? Burn those up. Oh look! You can no longer taste anything sweet for the rest of your life. No more zap test, eh? I gotta taste sweet stuff. Well, I think it's the sweet stuff. There's something that's up in your tongue.
Okay. You're all tangled. Oh well, so that's that. Our experiment, which was probably a failed experiment, because this seems to be live. Heavy. And these, um, these little dots of liquid there. Can you see them? Do they shine a little bit for you? Okay, it smells pretty good. This is my woodland soap. I made some awesome other soap. I want to show it to you. This one, I did the zap test on it. You see the blue is still in there. And this is from the, um, what is this called? Uh, ground up, ground up loofah. One of you sent to me. See, so smell that. It's blueberry. Mmm. That is very nice. So this has got loofah all throughout it. I haven't tried it yet, but I think that should be good gardening soap. And then this one here, this has got chamomile, ground up chamomile in it, and then calendula flowers on the top. I didn't put the calendula flowers in it. I just put them on the top. And I did another one with oatmeal. Let me show you this one. 